First of all, what is a complete system? A complete system for the DMV 2000 is the controller itself. It uh, will be delivered with the mouse. You have to add a camera and a camera cable, of course. Uh, you have to select the lens, what is suitable for your application and connectable to your camera. Then you need to have a light source, of course, uh, if possible with dimmer, because then you can play around with the light itself. And you need a screen, what you have to connect to the DV2000, that you can see what you are doing at that moment. In the standard package, if you order the DV2000, you find the controller. Uh, we have two different versions, one for two cameras, one for four cameras, and the mouse itself. Also included is a small SD card. Optional, of course, the camera. Uh, it's depending on which camera you want to use. 0.3, 2 megapixel, 4, 5, or 12 megapixel. The lens, the suitable lens for that type of camera, of course, because the lens for a 2 megapixel camera is different than for a 0.3 megapixel camera. And we can help you also with uh, LED light and the power source for that light. That is depending on your application, what you want to do, of course. Uh, therefore, you can see, therefore, you can use the type of light. These are the cameras what are available for the DMV 2000. That is 0 0.3245. 12 megapixel in grayscale, but also in color. Depending on the amount of pixels you have, the chip size and size, and also um, the pixel size is different for each type of camera. How to select the right components? It's also always depending on what you want to check and what for what kind of accuracy you want to have with your system. And finally, of course. Um, and also, how many cameras do you want to use uh, in your application? Because, of course, you cannot do everything with only one camera. Sometimes it's easier to use two cameras or three cameras. We have two types of controllers. One is with two camera connectable, and one is with four cameras connectable. This is how our DMV 2000 system looks like. Of course, uh, at the left upper corner, you have the power supply input, 24 volt power supply. Below that one, you have the IO, the interface, uh, the inputs and outputs. And below that one, you have the RS-232 connection. That is usable, for example, to connect uh, the DV2000 to a PLC PC. In the middle, we have at the top the, the micro SD card slot. Uh, below that one, we have an Ethernet connection possibility. There's also a possibility for PLC PC connection. Then we have the USB 2.0 connection, that is for the mouse itself. Below that one, it's the HDMI. There we can connect a screen, or you can use the VGA input at the bottom. And we have also there the RS-485 connection. RS-232, 485 and Ethernet outputs are usable for PC or PLC connection. At the right side, you have the connection possibility for the camera with the camera link uh, cables. Uh, on the picture, you see the possibility for connecting four cameras. Uh, if you have only the one with the two cameras, then only the uh, top slot is available.
at the side, at uh, point 14, there you have this always uh, the battery available. And after five, six years, you have to replace it with another one. And slot 15 is not used at this moment, but that will be for the future to expand to other controllers. In numbers, of course, all the inputs and outputs, what I just explained, what are available on the front. General specifications, 24 volt operation voltage between 90 and 110%. That means 10% above and below 24 volt. Uh, power consumption is, of course, depending on the amount of cameras what you have connected to the system. Uh, operating temperature of, is uh, maximum 45 degrees Celsius. And the battery lifespan uh, is roughly five years or more. It's the, yeah, it's not exactly to say, of course. Type of cameras that can be connected is only the camera what we can provide for the DMV2000 system. It's a camera based on camera link. Uh, you cannot use another camera with camera link because we have made special connections to the camera for that one. And we have color and grayscale cameras. The different types of resolutions, uh, as already explained. Two types of controller systems. The normal lens mount is C mount, only for the 12 megapixel camera we have F mount camera lenses. Internally, we have the possibility for to save more than 1000 uh, programs uh, with the memory card, depending on the size of the memory card, the SD card, you can go up to 9999. So possibilities, projects enough. And we have uh, different types of Region, region of interest, of course, rectangular circle, polygon, ellipse, circle, arc, rotation angle. I will explain that later. We have also different types of masks. I will also explain what a mask is and what you can do with that. And you have the pos possibility for eight different types of masks in each uh, window. Pre-processing different types of pre-processing will also explain where you can use it and how you can use it and when you have to use it sometimes. And you can switch in run mode, but also in edit mode. Calculation processing, uh, there's also a possibility to add a complete calculation inside we do will not do that today but i will show you where it is and how the screen looks like uh, we can only connect one type of uh, display that has an, a full hd display 9020 uh, at 1080 and you can connect via vga or hdmi Memory card is the micro SD card, is delivered with the controller. And we can only connect directly with the mouse what is delivered with the controller. Okay, the second thing we have now checked what kind of controller we want to have. We have two possibilities to, for connecting two cameras or four cameras. The next step is, of course, what kind of camera I want to use, what kind of accuracy I need to, to have. This is depending on what you want to do. If you want to, have, want to do measuring, then you need, an, of course, a higher accuracy than only when you want to check on availability of some items or the position of some items. Uh, 
So depending on what you have to want to do, you have to calculate, of course, also your accuracy, but you have to use a different type of camera. So the second thing of the third thing, what you have to check, of course, how large is my field of view? Um, what kind of items I want to check? And this has uh, influence on the accuracy, of course, and also on the type of lens. The, the third thing, what is important is the, the working distance. That means the distance between the camera and your object itself. That is the third item what has influence on the accuracy. Here you see a small overview how to calculate with the formula. Um, in this example, we use a 0.3 megapixel camera. That has that is a one third inch camera and has uh, the the amount of pixels horizontal 640 vertical 480 and a pixel size 7.4 micrometer. If we use a an, an lens with a focus distance of 8 millimeter and a working distance of 700 millimeter, then you can reach a field of view of 480 multiplied by 360 millimeter. If you fill that in in your formula, then the field of view will get out of this one. And <clears throat> the small f accent is of course the focus, and the b is the size of the chip inside of the camera. Some examples how to calculate. Of course, when I have an SD card, for example, it has the size of uh, vertical 32 millimeter, horizontal 24 millimeter. So when I want to do something on this card, my minimum field of view will be roughly 40 multiplied by 30 millimeter. At the, the size, at the edge of the lens, you have always this source in. So the field of view must be a little bit smaller than your view of your camera itself. In this case, we choose for a field of view of 100 multiplied by 50 millimeter. And we have a fixed working distance. That means my camera is on a fixed distance of 200 millimeter from my object. If I fill it in, then I can calculate directly what my focus of my lens has to be. So in this case, I have the value of 23.52. So the nearby focus lens is 25 in this case. So I have to use a lens of 25 millimeter to reach this field of view on this working distance. And if you calculate back with this 25 millimeter focus, then you get the exact field of view. The optical resolution, what you can reach in this case with a two megapixel camera, is of course the size 93.8 millimeter divided by 2048 pixels, because that is what you have for horizontal with the two megapixel camera. That means your accuracy is 45.8 micrometer for each pixel. This is the optical resolution. In a real application, you cannot reach, you cannot detect on one pixel. So the minimum what you can reach is three of three to five pixels uh, accuracy. That means you have to multiply this minimum with three. I do the same 
with, for example, a two megapixel camera and I use a focus lens with 35 millimeter. And I want to reach a field of view of 40 multiplied by 30 millimeter. So the question is, what is my working distance in that case? <laughs> the chip size is 11.26 millimeter multiplied by 5.98 millimeter. Um, the working distance is in that case, you can calculate that as directly 170 millimeter. And with that one, you can reach a field of view of 56 multiplied by 30 millimeter. And your resolution is much higher. This has always to do with your size of your field of view. Uh, the bigger your field of view, the less accuracy you will have. If you don't want to calculate in our user manual, we have already done some calculations for you. Uh, you see here in the left column the field of view, what you can reach with a lens with a 5 millimeter focus or 25 millimeter focus, and then you have directly the distance in millimeters. The R, what is mentioned here, sometimes there is also mentioned that you have to use a ring between the lens and the camera. And with that ring, you can make your, you can change your focus between, yeah, your focus of your lens in that case. If you have, for example, here a ring of two millimeter, that means in combination with the focus lens of 12 millimeter, we have a distance of 40 millimeter. 40 millimeter is not a standard in the lens. So that's the reason they can use uh, rings in that case. <laughs> 